Can you spell redemption? A Columbia sixth grader did just that, winning the regional spelling beat this spring after her sister won it two years in a row. The Missouri Division of Fire Safety is now conducting an investigation on the cause of the fire. Anti-Semitism is rising at an alarming rate in America. The Anti-Defamation League recorded the highest number of anti-Semitic incidents ever in 2021. Kimmy Waits Hunter Walterman is here in the studio with how Columbia's Jewish community is celebrating Hanukkah in the face of hatred. The Columbia School Board voted last night to pass a five-year improvement plan. Good afternoon, Mid-Missouri. I'm Steffi Roche. Thank you for joining us on Cami Wait News at noon. That's after the district saw a decrease in attendance. Dish or cone? That's a question we'll be asking ourselves today as it's National Ice Cream Day. One man is now in stable condition after another weekend shooting in Columbia. Okay, thanks, Daniel. Columbia City Council will have a hearing for updates on the homeless service plan during the pre-council meeting tomorrow. And then during the regular meeting, the council will renew the second amendment to the social services provider agreement. Looks like we're going to need to bundle up the rest of this weekend. Good afternoon, Mid Missouri. I'm Steffi Roche. Thanks for joining us on Kimmy Wait News at noon. Cassidy, yesterday I was literally walking around in shorts, and today I came into work in a ski parka. I mean, what kind of weather can we expect the rest of today? If you like your morning cup of coffee, we may have some good news for you. According to researchers, a cup of coffee or tea may be associated with a lower risk for stroke and dementia. Well, I guess now I have a scientific justification for my giant cappuccinos every morning. Welcome back. Now here's a look at what we're following on Camuate News at 10. Every state is voting this upcoming Tuesday, how states across the country are dealing with security concerns ahead of the midterms at 10. Meteorologist Matt Beckwith is in the studio to tell us what kind of weather we should expect for tomorrow and the rest of the week. So Matt, are we going to have sweater weather anytime soon? Here's what's happening right now. The jury is deliberating in the murder trial of Lindley Rennick. Will Columbia residents need to pay if this new budget is approved? There will be no live audience at tonight's taping of Saturday Night Live, and that's because of COVID concerns. Normally, this is the scene outside. Well, the St. Louis Cardinals announced a series of roster moves before their game in Philadelphia yesterday, all aimed at improving their pitching staff. Former Mizzou Tigers standout Kyle Gibson took the mound for Philly, but the Redbirds knocked him around in the first inning and the cards got four straight homers off right hander. Callaway County kids go shopping with first responders for Christmas. A look at the annual event in tonight's MVP. The house, which is located in the remote woods of Salem, Massachusetts, is available on Airbnb. The listing opens on Airbnb October 12th. And Matt, I have a fun fact. I've actually been to all the filming locations for Hocus Pocus in Salem. I am that big of a fan. Of that is a really fun <laughs> fact. And I feel like those Airbnb slots are going to go oh really my gosh, quickly. I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> and the the follow up, the sequel it's coming out. is yes. coming out soon. Yes. So, I'm so excited. all in anticipation for that. Yes, are you a fan of Halloween or Hocus Pocus? Yeah, I actually had never seen Hocus Pocus until about 2 years ago. Oh Jordan goodness. Berger made me watch yes. it and I did thoroughly enjoy the movie. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. We'll see you at 5.